Hi, this is Kevin with Map Practical, your friendly neighborhood cartographer. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Shape Builder tool to do some trimming. So this is a you know a highly simulated GIS export, and all times you'll have lines uh, that that stick out aside your your extent of your map that you would like to uh, display. So uh, in previous versions, there was no easy way really to trim this other than to select each one of these say streets and uh, snip them with the scissor tool. There was a third-party plugin that was really helpful for that, but it no longer works in CS5. However, uh, we, we do have an option in the Shape Builder tool. But first, uh, let's go ahead and just add some style to these lines so that it's easier to see what we're working with. Let's put this was the county line that came out. And then uh, let's do the lakes. Just give them a graphic style. And the streets. Select them all. And the reason I'm not selecting them inside of their uh, layer over here is when you apply graphic styles and you uh, assign it to the top level of the layer, it can cause some problems for editing later on. So I like to actual, actually assign it to each individual uh, item that's on the artboard. Okay, so one of the issues when you have a, a county line that, say, crosses a lake like it does here is that it actually breaks that lake into two pieces. So in the past, you would have to go in and cut the shoreline in a few places and do some joins, and it was really kind of tricky. So now with the Shape Builder tool, it makes it a lot easier. So let's make sure that the lakes are selected. And um, grab the Shape Builder tool. Zoom in here. Zoom in. There we go. Um, Shape Builder tool is over here. It's Shift-M to get it. So Shift-M will give you your tool. And you can see it's an arrow with a plus sign. And when I hover over selected polygons, they actually uh, kind of have a shade that will go to them. And if I just click in one and drag it across, bingo, there we have it. It's now joined. Now if I hold down Alt, you'll see that it changes. And now it's the negative shape builder tool. And I could drag that across to erase things, but if I go in this, uh, this little island here and click on it once, it just turned that into a little donut shape. And it cut it out so that now it's... Um, it's the island rising out of the water. All it did was create a compound path. So really, it's not that tricky. Okay, so we can also do it down here for these other lakes. Do Shift-M again, just drag across, and there we have it. Now my lakes are joined. So I'm going to turn my frame on again, and my county line, and leave my lakes and everyone, everything on. Um, if I select everything, now you want to have whatever uh, frame you're going to use to do your clipping, that needs to be on top. So now I have everything selected. I'm going to do Shift M again. And um, if you're on a Mac, I'm sure you'll be smart enough to figure out what the shortcuts are. So if I wanted to get rid of some of these lines that are hanging over my frame, I hold down Alt and it gives me my negative Shape Builder tool. And I can just go on a line and click it. Let's see, like, uh, there we go. That got rid of my uh, county line there. It appears that Streets is locked right now. So let's change that. Get everything selected. There we go. Okay. Shift M back to my uh, Shape Builder tool. Alt to give me the negative. Now I can get rid of each individual. Now it's a lot of work if you have to go through and click on each line, especially if it was a really dense urban street network hanging over your map extent frame there. So I can um, just click and drag all the way across all these lines and they will go. The other option is you can do Alt and then Shift and that will let you create a bounding box so you can grab things like this little lake down here and get rid of those and the lines all at the same time. So again on the bottom I'm going to click Alt and Shift and I get my bounding box. Now you want to make sure that you don't go up into your artwork. See how that starts to give me the shadow inside of my artwork. If I let that go it's going to really make a mess and clip a bunch of things out. So Control Z to get out of that. So you want to make sure that when you're dragging a bounding box or a line with the Shape Builder tool you only are cutting off the pieces you want to get rid of and not getting into your actual artwork. And there we have it, a nice clean trim that was really quick and easy. My lakes are joined. I can turn on a background and we have a clean map ready to go to add some style and some labels. We do have a little bit of a hangover right here. So I'll zoom in and you can see what's going on. Go ahead and select these guys here. And this, uh, this node is hanging over and sometimes the Shape Builder tool will have a problem uh, discerning between a polygon and a line. So you might have to go in and do a little cleanup. So I'll just go in with Shift M again, and then do my Alt Shift and get rid of that little end. There we go. Perfectly trimmed up map in seconds. Okay, hope you've enjoyed these tips, and we'll see you next time on Map Practical.